So I guess the manga of Fairy Tale decided to go a little cray cray since the anime been a little bit crusty lately because this chapter, I mean, it keeps making me think and I know there's going to be people that say, oh no, you don't know what you're talking about, but it really feels like Fairy Tale could end within this arc. Like, <laughs> the amount of progression we've had and revelations and everything, most of the big mysteries kind of being unraveled and everything... I mean, fairy tale could really end very soon based on what's been going on, especially in this chapter yet again. Let's go, though. So beginning of this chapter, I'm not going to deny. I definitely feel like face being destroyed by the dragons while we needed some sort of legit excuse as to what would happen to it to ultimately bring the magic back. The magic was gone and back within 10 fucking milliseconds. So it kind of made face yet again like the most annoying thing that never happened once again. Like uh, the dragons coming and doing it is epic as fuck. The dragons and I'll talk a lot about the greatness of it. But just like what was the point of face constantly? Oh, it's counting down. It's counting down. Oh, it's about to activate. No, it's counting down. And then this. So face fuck you. Totally didn't mean it like that. But yeah. And then we got a little bit more talk about the dragons. Basically, they were inside of everyone all this time. Although we only seen Igneo come out of not so everyone else like they had the rumbles but they came out of the ground so I don't know why in particular only Igneo came out of Natsu was it something different with the rest of them they had maybe a different ceiling spell or what's up with that but either way kind of Sting and Rogue like their whole backstory especially Sting like oh yeah I killed my dragon even though we found out already that it was kind of fraudulent that it wasn't like they were badasses and killed their dragons it was on some I'm sick you know put me out of my misery they still are around so basically he never really killed them maybe it was that they all fake their deaths or something or they use that as an opportunity or they needed to do that for the spell to work or something like that or maybe you can actually permanently kill dragons i don't know but the fact that their dragons are around once again sting and rogue look really bad and now we finally have a concrete reason as to why all those arcs ago when you know loxus was attacking everyone and he had those barriers up in place not so and Godzilla couldn't get out of there because the dragons were inside of them i don't think it's that they were actually old themselves not so and Godzilla, is that the dragons inside of them are probably hundreds of years old so they couldn't get through and then we even get the fucking revelation as to why they were inside of there one of the main two reasons we didn't get the second one because hero you know want to keep on throwing bait although the way things are going with this fast pacing i honestly wouldn't be surprised in a couple more chapters if we find out that second reason but one of the main reasons was basically they didn't want them to turn into dragons so by them being inside of them they were stopping them but now that they left if they don't go back inside there people can start turning into dragons baby but that also makes you wonder okay if that was one of the reasons what was the other reason because that's a huge fucking reason in and of itself but why did they do it so secretively they didn't tell anybody and of course you still have the whole mystery with whatever happened to lucy's mom all those years ago that has to tie into all this somehow but yeah definitely huge progression right there with one of the big mysteries of fairy tale just like that revealed then aklogia is still not down something definitely interesting about aklogia and him and Zeref have been one of the prime reasons to fucking read this manga for a while as far if you want some interesting villains or antagonists, whatever the hell you want to call them, when Igneo was talking to him, it was almost as if Igneo was talking to somebody that was like in fear of certain things, and the way he was talking to him, it was like, what is it with the Actologia? Because you could definitely see that he is basically in a weird way indulging in self-hatred, because he's like, you hid inside those filthy creatures. Motherfucker, you were one of those filthy creatures. You just went overboard and became a dragon, but in a sense, he's hating who he used to be. And another thing that had me wondering is when Igneo told him, what more do you want? The end you fear is no more. Now, was Actologia turned into this and became such a beast because he was scared of the demons in Zero's book and that's why he went so far and then eventually he lost his way maybe that could be why Akinologia is like this because then Akinologia he just basically said I want total destruction so it could be that he started off with a noble cause we need to get rid of all this demonic you know nature and everything we need to get rid of Zero's book and then ultimately he lost his way but it kind of makes me wonder like okay the people in Zero's book, for the most part, majority of them have, not majority, but a, a good chunk of them have been disappointing in one way or another. I mean, we never really got Deliora, and then, you know, we found out that this Deliora was actually great father. Deliora never really was around. He was, you know, throughout the entirety of the series, he basically was not actually there. So maybe Deliora was something big, but a lot of the people in this book, except End, basically weren't, you know, that much to be feared. So it has to be that he specifically is scared of E-N-D and nothing more because, let's be real here, Actinologia would demolish each and every one of the people we've seen in this arc. Jackal, Kyoka, come on, fuck out of here. Actinologia would eat them alive, so 
again beefing up End and how strong he truly is. And it's just kind of like, well, what is Akologia after? Is it that he went so far that he went crazy and initially he wanted to save humans and then ultimately just started to despise them because he went too far? Because we do know that he bathed, if I'm correct, in the blood of a lot of dragons and that's what turned them into it. So maybe he just completely lost who he is. But then that ending though is like, this is why I say I think fairy tale might be ending. Zeroth there now, what the fuck? You have Zeroth, Acnologia, Marred fucking gear, E.N.D.'s book, which he probably will show up soon. I, I don't see, like, maybe Face was BS and yeah, counted down and ultimately it didn't do anything, but building up E.N.D. this long, there's no fucking way. E.N.D. better show up, as a matter of fact, but just the amount of progression, like, the main, the big things that we started the series to begin with reading, we just got, like, covered. Like, this was, a, aside from the face bullshit, everything else about this chapter, amazing. Like, huge progression. Zara back again. Mark Gear looking shook as a motherfucker. Finding out more about the characterization of Aklogia, his goals, and what he was up to. Where the dragon's been this entire time is, like... 9 to a 9.5 out of 10 for this one. Only thing is face, but everything else is just like... <laughs> Hero, like, thank you. Because the anime been making me want to fucking strangle myself. I'm not gonna lie, but the manga coming back yet again. Last chapter in this chapter. Let's go, man. Hype! Let me know what you thought of this chapter. What did you think about everything that happened? Like, Zerub showing up. The Actologia basically being a little bit of a nut job. Well, kind of a little more than a little bit of a nut job, but you get what I mean. I do you think we're gonna see END at some given point? Is END gonna eventually be revived? Here we're thoughts to this chapter. We waited two weeks and we come back to motherfucking Zeroth. I respect that. I'm hype. But that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked anything I had to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm for the world and as always, people, have an awesome day.